hello, welcome to the front of my iPhone. I am going to show you today um, around a little app called Enlight. We've got it right down here at the bottom. And this app is absolutely superb. It's really cheap and it's really good and it can bring your photos to life. This tutorial, I'm going to show you around Enlight quickly, crudely, because I want to show you the tools. I'm not going to go into in detail because I want to save all those for the future um, sort of tutorials that I will have coming on in light it's as I said it's a great little app and um, all the information on it you can find in the description below all the links and where to get it and what it costs and all that good stuff so here's in light the sort of front view down here we've just got our albums and we've got our save sessions our unsaved sessions and all our photos we can just find really quickly um, right there along with the top on the left hand side we've got our in light settings I will go through those shortly nextly we've got um, our along the top we've got our camera so if we click this it will just um, activate our camera so you can take the pictures and edit them directly in in light and then we've got our save function save photo save session you can mail what you've done you can message what you've done whatsapp um, and so you can it's got third party app support in in short um, you can go click the more button and do more with it right there and then um, we've got our little um, edit menu and I'll come to that shortly. So let's go back to the left hand side and go to our in light um, splash screen if you like. At the bottom you've got rate and review, we'll just take you to the to the app store where you can rate and review it. Here we've got the about, um, about the in light, we've got a little statement at the top, you don't take a photograph, you make it and within light yes you can, you do indeed take a photograph, of course you do, but it help you can bring it to life um, using in light. Um, and then we've got our settings um, and if we open our settings at the top, we can just toggle on and off our metadata, so our GPS. And then we've got our export quality, and it tells you just above how it will export that image if you have it on that quality. And I'm just tapping the screen to um, to change the um, change the options. Then we have our unsaved sessions capacity. Again, just click the screen, and you can. Um, choose the um, the amount of unsaved sessions but when you're doing this remember how much space you've got on your phone and how much space it will take so if you if you're not used your saved sessions it's a good idea to delete your unsaved sessions just by clicking it and then delete and also your saved sessions if you have indeed exported them you can make use of presets so on all the um, on all the presets you can edit those presets and save them and here you can just gives you the option to reset the preset intensities we can disable or enable our tooltips at the bottom like so, and we can also reset the tooltips. So that's just basically in the settings. And then we've got our tour, and you can just swipe through and just go through the in-light tour, and it gives you some hints and tips right there. Okay, so let's go back up to the top on the right-hand side here, and we've opened up our toolbar. Um, so... Um, it's sort of a cascading toolbar, so within Canvas, I open up, click Canvas, and open up, and it drops down to open or reveal more sort of um, editing properties. Just quickly on this toolbar on the right-hand side, once you get to know all the names and what each of the um, images mean, you can just drag it and make it a lot smaller, like so. So once you know how to do that, you can, um, you can drag it. Obviously, you can turn it around, and it will change the aspect ratio as well um, with the phone. Um, so canvas, on the canvas you just crop the image, skew the image and refit the image, very very simple. Um, this image here I've just got a, um, a free stock image and the reason I'm using this is because my next video I'm going to show you um, how to do a colour splash tutorial with Enlight and how easy it is. The next part is image, now if we go to um, adjust on the image it gives us all our little presets down here. Now this will ring true with every sort of adjustment that I'm going to make on any of the tools or using any of the tools. So if I click the HDR preset or the high key preset or the contrast preset, it will change um, it will change the image or the, the way it looks. So you're just applying a filter if you like. Now in order to adjust the filter, you see I've got this vivid selected down here and it's it's at 35% at the moment, the intensity. In order to change the intensity of that, I just slide from left to right or right to left. Put my finger on the screen and slide and you'll see the um, image bar at the top or the adjustment bar at the top. That will change as I'm sliding my finger, as will the numbers on the placeholder at the bottom to show you the percentage of the intensity of the 
um, effect I've just applied. Now to OK that, you just click the button at the top, and then that image will become um, or take on the intensity of the effect that you've just used. If you're not happy after you've saved it and you want to undo it, you just click this little back button right here. If you want to redo it, click the forward button, undo it, click the back button. If you want to view what the image was originally like, you click this little um, placeholder down here and it shows you what the image was like and what it's like now. Okay, so let's go back to the original image. Let's open up our menu again. Now we can do the same with clarity, so we can select any of the, um, the clarity presets. And again, with the target presets, all we can do is change our exposure, contrast, saturation, and hue. So if I was wanted to change the contrast of this image, I'd select contrast at the bottom and then select my intensity. Um, it just gave me a quick tip there. Um, and then I would select the change the intensity by sliding my finger left or right. And the, um, the contrast um, preset at the bottom will show the um, intensity, whether it be minus or plus, whatever it is. Okay, so I don't, don't want to apply that. Close that image, and then we go on to filters. And again, these are just really simple stock filters that you can go into filters, change the filter, slide your finger left or right, really, really quick, really, really crude. Um, likewise, with the black and white filters, you can do exactly the same. And the duo filters, which is a little bit different. Um, so if I want to choose like the vignette filter, and you see I've got this little radial thing here, so I slide my pinch and squeeze to change the, um, the vignette of the of the image likewise with the um like the italia for instance it's a, a duo of the presets which is really cool and you can also change the way these are displayed by selecting our tools at the bottom and then we can select linear if we want mirror like so or you can even change the blending um to um change the blending mode so you can have soft light, hard light. So there's lots and lots of things that you could do with these. And a lot of it is just exploring what, what it is you can do. So I've closed the um, closed that duo down. And again, like I said, I'll go more into this when I do more tutorials. Um, our tools, we've got, we can mix, reshape and tilt shift blur, which is blur um, blur the outside and, and, and keep the inside. And again, I'll go on more of those when I do tutorials. Artistic, you can change it to painting sort of effect, urban effect and sketch effect. And again, these are just predefined filters at the bottom of which you can edit um, by slide, swiping your finger left and right. You've got brushes, doodle effects and text. Sorry, and then text. Um, and then you can do type and you can de decals, which is quite cool. So you can add um, a decal and then just change the text to suit yourself. Um, and then you can finalize it by choosing a frame. Um, it, it, I think this is like an Instagram type thing. You know, you, you can, well, it is an Instagram type thing. You can sort of put um, borders around the backside and, and then just send it right to um, right to, to, to Instagram. Or you can make sort of collages and, and, and choose that way just from your, from your photos or whatever it is you want to do. So you see that it's really, really simple little app. Really, really great little app. Really simple little app. I don't want to... Um, dwell on the what the tools and that do too much because I'm going to do quite a few tutorials on this because I've been playing around with this app for quite a while now and it is um, Go an awesome it. it's really app. cheap really really cool and it really does bring your images to life my next tutorial on Enlight will be this colour splash tutorial it's really easy really cool so I look forward to that I'll catch you all again soon and have a great day